The southern Ontario city of Windsor was literally shut down by tens of thousands of people who marched into the heart of the city to demand justice from the Harris government. A lot of other workers have given up a day's pay, but Windsor came through again with a, an incredible number of people. Over 35,000 CAW members gave up a day's pay. A lot of them are here today. While the CAW played a key role, they were not alone. What we see here today, we see flags from so many different parts of our community, from teachers to seniors to workers to all kinds of different groups that have a concern about social justice about economic justice, about political justice. People who aren't radical people, but people who understand democracy doesn't just mean that we have a right to wait to vote every four or five years. To hell with that! In the past two years, the Harris government's popularity has dropped like a stone from 60 to 30 percent. Hargrove says this is proof the protest movement is working and pledged to fight on. This is a serious commitment as we stood shoulder to shoulder with QP against 136. We will stand shoulder to shoulder with the teachers against Bill 160. We understand clearly, we understand as working class families very clearly that when you cut education, you hurt kids. Speaking at numerous events during the day, Hargrove stressed that this fight is about democracy not money. The issue isn't money, brothers and sisters. It's about the kind of society we want for the future. It's about values. It's about our communities. It's about inclusiveness. CAW, fighting back, makes a difference.